pre-trip inspection, CDLA automatic. Overview. Outside of the truck, I see no hazards, no damage. Nothing around the truck. No leaks on the floor. Oil, coolant, fuel, etc. The truck is not leaning. Front of the vehicle. Wind deflector and visor. Securely mounted, not broken, not loose, not missing nuts or bolts. Clearance and identification lights. Amber, securely mounted, not missing, no cracks, clean, and working properly. Windshield, securely mounted, no cracks, clean, no obstructions. Gasket, not broken, no cracks, and no leaks. Wipers, securely mounted, good tension and stiff rubber. Fender mirror, securely mounted, not broken, not loose, not missing nuts or bolts. No cracks. Clean and well adjusted. Hood securely mounted, not broken. It opens and closes properly, securely latched. Headlights, turn signals, and fog lights securely mounted, not broken, clean, and working properly. Bumper not missing, securely mounted. No broken parts and not loose. License plate, not missing, securely mounted, clean, and not expired. Engine compartment, passenger side, exhaust system, securely mounted, no broken parts, not loose, no holes, no leaks, no rust. No carbon soot, no touching wires, fuel lines, tires, moving parts, not missing. Nor do we have any loose pipes, brackets, clamps, nuts, or bolts. Windshield washer tank. Good level above the refill line, securely mounted, no leaks. Alternator. Securely mounted, not broken. Not loose, no missing nuts and bolts. Belt, not no excessive wear, no cuts, no frays. It's tight, less than three-fourths of an inch of play. The wires have no cracks, no cuts, tight connections, secure against rubbing, sagging, and wearing. Water pump. Securely mounted, not broken, not loose. No missing nuts and bolts, no leaks. Belt, no excessive wear, no cuts, no frays. Tight, less than three-fourths of an inch of play. The hoses have no cracks, no cuts, no leaks. Tight connections, secure against rubbing, sagging, and wearing. Driver's side. Oil level, good level above the refill line. We check the oil, securely mounted, and no leaks. Cooling system, good level above the refill line. We check the cooling system, it's securely mounted, no damage. No leaks. The hoses have no cracks, no cuts, no leaks. Tight connections. Secure against rubbing, sagging, and wearing. Air compressor. Gear driven. Securely mounted, not broken, not loose. No missing nuts or bolts. No leaks. The hoses have no cracks, no cuts. No leaks, tight connections, secure against rubbing, sagging, and wearing. Power steering pump, gear driven, securely mounted, not broken, not loose, not missing nuts or bolts, no leaks, hoses, no cracks, no cuts, no leaks, tight connections, secure against rubbing, Sagging and wearing. 
power steering tank. Good level above the refill line. We check the power steering fluid. It's securely mounted. It's not broken, not loose. No missing nuts or bolts. No leaks. The hoses have no cracks, no cuts, no leaks. Tight connections. Secure against rubbing, sagging, and wearing. Steering system. Steering column and U-joints. Securely mounted, not broken, not loose, not missing any nuts or bolts. Steering gearbox. Securely mounted, not broken, not loose, not missing any nuts or bolts. No leaks. The hoses have no cracks, no cuts, no leaks, tight connections, secure against rubbing and sagging and wearing. Steering linkage. Connecting links, arms, and rods. Not broken, not loose, not bent. No missing nuts and pins. Front suspen suspension. The frame is securely mounted, not broken, no cracks, no bends, no holes, and no welds. Spring hanger. Securely mounted, not broken, not loose, no missing nuts or bolts, no cracks, no welds. Leaf spring, securely mounted, leaves are not missing, broken, cracked, or shifted. U-bolts, not missing or loose. Axle, securely mounted, not broken, not loose, no missing nuts and bolts. No cracking, not bent. Shock absorber. Securely mounted, not broken, not loose. No missing nuts and bolts. No leaks. Front brake. Hoses. Securely mounted, no cracks, no cuts, no leaks. Tight connections. Secure against rubbing, sagging, and wearing. Brake chamber, securely mounted, not broken, not loose, no missing nuts and bolts, no cracks, tight clamps, no dents, and no leaks. Push rod, securely mounted, not broken, not loose, not bent, no missing parts. Slack adjuster, securely mounted, not broken, not loose, no missing nuts and bolts, no missing parts. To check the slack adjuster, park the truck on level ground, chalk the wheels, release the brakes, pull the slack adjuster. It must have less than one inch play where it connects to the push rod. Brake drums. Securely mounted, not broken, not loose, no cracks, no dents, no holes, no loose or missing bolts, no debris, no oil. Brake shoes, not missing, securely mounted, not broken, not loose, no cracks, good thickness, minimum one-fourth of an inch. Front wheels and tires, rim, securely mounted, not broken, not loose, no cracks, no bents, no dents, no welds, no signs of misalignment, studs, not missing, bent, or broken, lug nuts, none missing, tight, no distortions, no rust around the nuts. Valve stem, not missing, not broken, cap on, no leaks. Wheel seal, securely mounted, not broken, not loose, no missing nuts and bolts, no cracks, no leaks, good level. Tire, properly mounted to the rim, no contact with the vehicle, 
No recaps in the front. Four and 32 inch deep tread. Properly inflated. Check it with a gauge only. Even wear. No cuts. No bulges. No fabric showing. Same size. Same type. Tractor rear. Airlines. Securely mounted. No cracks. No cuts. No leaks. Tight connections. Secure against rubbing. Sagging and wearing. Enough slack for turns. Rubber seals. No cracks. No leaks. Power cord. Securely mounted. Wires. No cracks. No cuts. Tight connections. Secure against rubbing, sagging, and wearing. Enough slack for turns. Coupling. Apron. Securely mounted, not broken, not loose, no cracks, no gaps, and proper lubrication between apron and fifth wheel. Fifth wheel, firmly attached to the platform, not broken, not loose, no cracks, no missing bolts or pins. Enough space for turns between the tractor cab Trailer front wall and landing gear. Release handle. Securely mounted, not broken, not bent. In the locked position all the way in. Securely latched. Platform. Securely mounted, not broken, not loose. No missing nuts and bolts. No cracks. Locking jaws, no missing or broken parts, fully closed around the shank. Kingpin, securely mounted, not bent or broken. Trailer front, power cord connection, securely mounted, not broken, not loose, no missing nuts or bolts. Airline connections. Securely mounted, not broken, not loose, no missing nuts and bolts, rubber seals, not cracked, no leaks. Inside of the cab. First, chalk the wheels. We will now do the inspection for the windshield, wipers, mirrors, windows, and doors. Windshield. Securely mounted, no cracks, clean, no obstruction. Gasket, not broken, no cracks, no leaks. Wipers, securely mounted, good tension, stiff rubber. Mirror, securely mounted, not broken, not loose, not missing nuts or bolts. No cracks, clean, well adjusted. Window, securely mounted, no cracks, clean, no obstruction, gaskets, not broken, no cracks, no leaks, open and closes properly. Door, securely mounted, open and closes properly. Hinges, not broken, not loose, latches properly, gaskets, not broken, no cracks, no leaks. Seat. Securely mounted. Not broken. Not loose. Not missing nuts or bolts. Well adjusted. Cab floor. Clean and no objects stuck under the pedals. Put gear in neutral. Turn engine on volt meter normal between 12 and 14 volts working properly oil pressure gauge normal pressure is between 30 and 60 psi 
It takes three to five seconds to reach normal pressure working properly. Coolant temperature gauge. Normal temperature is 180 degrees. It takes three to five minutes to reach normal temperature working properly. Tachometer, speedometer, death and fuel gauge working properly. Air pressure gauge. Normal pressure is between 100 and 125 PSI working properly. Light switch working properly. Steering wheel securely mounted, not broken, less than two inches of play. Electric and air horns. Push the wheel horn and pull the loud horn, working properly. High beams, turn signals, wipers and washers. Turn on your high beams, turn on your signals, turn on your wipers and washers. Then say, working properly. Gear shift, securely mounted, not broken, shifts properly. Four-way flasher, turn on your four-way flasher and indicate that it is working properly. Heater, defroster, and air condition. Turn on your heater, defroster, and air condition and indicate that it is working properly. Brake and accelerator. Securely mounted, not sticking, good traction. Emergency equipment. Point to the emergency equipment box located under the seat and note that there are three red reflective triangles, spare fuses, and the fire extinguisher. All are securely mounted, fully charged, and not missing pins. Seat belt, securely mounted, adjusts and latches properly, not ripped or frayed. Air brake check. To perform the air brake check, keep the engine running. Start the test at 125 PSI. Tell the examiner pressure is 125 PSI. The governor cutout is working properly. Applied. Put transmission in neutral. Turn off engine. Turn ignition on. Push both brake valves. Tell the examiner I am checking applied. Step gently on the brake pedal and hold it. Check the air pressure gauge and tell the examiner the initial pressure is 90 PSI. I'm going to wait for one minute. After waiting for one minute, check the gauge again. Tell the examiner the final pressure is now at 88 PSI. Applied is okay. The brake system lost less than four PSI in one minute. Low air pressure warning light. Turn your engine off. Tell the examiner I am checking the low pressure warning light. The light comes on between 75 and 55 PSI. Simulate a leakage by slowly pressing and releasing the brake pedal until the light comes on. Check the air pressure gauge and tell the examiner the pressure is 65 PSI. The low air pressure warning light is okay. Emergency brake valves, engine off. Tell the examiner I am checking the emergency brake valves. The valves pop out between 40 and 20 PSI. 
simulate a leakage by slowly pressing and releasing the brake pedal until both valves pop out. Do not touch them. Tell the examiner the valves popped out at 35 PSI. The valves are working properly. Spring brakes. Turn on the engine. Charge the system to 125 PSI. Back the truck up about one foot. Put it in neutral and apply the parking brake. Get out and remove the chalk. Build up pressure again to 125 PSI and tell the examiner pressure is 125 PSI. The governor cutout is working properly. Tell the examiner I am checking the tractor spring brakes. Push the red valve. Do not touch the yellow valve. Put the transmission in drive. Accelerate very lightly. You should feel the truck trying to move forward. Tell the examiner the tractor spring brakes are working properly. Tell the examiner I am checking the trailer spring brakes. Pull the red valve and push the yellow valve. Accelerate very lightly. You should feel the truck trying to move forward. Tell the examiner the trailer spring brakes are working properly. Service brake. Turn your engine on. Tell the examiner I am checking the service brake. Push both emergency brake valves the yellow and red. Tell the examiner I'm going to move the truck to five miles per hour, put transmission in drive and move the truck about five feet. Step gently on the brake pedal to a complete stop. Tell the examiner the service brake is working properly. No pulls on the steering. Trailer service brake. To check the trailer service brake, your engine should be on. Tell the examiner, I am checking the trailer service brake. I am going to move the truck to five miles per hour and move the truck five feet and release the accelerator. Keep your right foot on the floor do not touch the brake pedal. Pull gently on the trailer service brake, the handbrake, to a complete stop. Tell the examiner the trailer service brake is working properly. Lights check. Tell the examiner I am ready to check the lights and follow the examiner's instruction. When the examiner instructs you to turn on your high beams, low beams, emergency lights, and your signals, you just follow her instructions. This completes pre-trip test A.